So science shows that trauma shrinks your brain, but exercise grows it back. Okay, trauma isn't just war and natural disasters. Most people experience some sort of trauma in their lifetime, whether it's from emotional neglect, being bullied or harassed, or experiencing a betrayal in a relationship. And trauma changes your brain by number one, your amygdala gets hyperactive, so the fear center in your brain gets larger, creating constant threat detection. Number two, your prefrontal cortex reduces in size. This means the logic center in your brain gets smaller, creating difficulty with executive function and emotional regulation. Number three, your hippocampus shrinks. So the memory center in your brain gets smaller, affecting how your memories are stored and processed. Number four, you get a dysregulated HPA axis, which means that your stress hormone system becomes chronically elevated. This means that after trauma, your brain literally restructures itself for survival, making everyday decisions feel overwhelming and relationships feel difficult. But exercise creates measurable brain changes in just 30 to 60 days through neuroplasticity which is your brain's ability to form new neural pathways. So your brain literally rewires itself through exercise. In the first 7 to 14 days, you'll notice better mood and better sleep. And after 90 days, you'll be able to visibly see structural changes on an MRI. And I know it feels counterintuitive, but exercise is one of the most effective ways to heal from trauma. Don't do high intensity exercise at first. This can send threat signals up to your brain and overwhelm your nervous system. To heal your brain after trauma, start with gentle somatic exercises to regulate your nervous system and lower your cortisol for 30 to 90 days.